Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.17.1 Single Player. We go over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up Single Player for World Edit in Minecraft 1.17.1. First of all, though, I do want to talk about the fact that this is for Fabric. It is not for Forge, it is for Fabric. I'm going to go through all of that in this video, and if you have no clue what I'm talking about, then most likely it's not going to affect you. But for those of you that run other mods, you do need to think about which mod loader you're using. In this video, we're going to be using Fabric. Forge will come out eventually, but Forge has taken so long for some reason that I just feel like I need to go ahead and do a video on World Edit to get it out to you all and show you how to set it up and get it running in single player. I don't think a lot of people are actually running World Edit with other mods, so with that, I'm going to be showing you how to get World Edit today using Fabric in Minecraft 1.17.1. One. Before we get started, though, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. It's so your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server with World 8, you can start Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. You are obviously here to get World Edit, so let's go ahead and grab it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for getting World Edit. It's actually for Forge, though, so just keep in mind that when you see this, we are actually going to be using Fabric. All you need to do once you're here is just click on this green Download World Edit button. That's going to take you off to the official World Edit download page, where you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.17. Under that, we will see World Edit, and most importantly, if we hover over it, we will see Fabric for Minecraft. 1.17/1.17.1. Now, later on, let's say you know a month from now, two months from now, even you may actually be able to download one that says Forge slash Fabric, right? Which is what they did for 1.16. But for right now, we just have Fabric. In the future, it may be Fabric slash Forge, or it could just be Fabric. But no matter what, whatever file you download, you need to make sure Fabric is in the title as it does here. Then go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that. After a few seconds, the download will begin, and we will have World Edit downloading. Right? It's pretty simple stuff. Um, luckily, World Edit's a pretty file, easy, uh, quick file to download, so it's pretty easy to download. And in the bottom left, we will need to keep the files. You can see it says World Edit and it says Fabric, so we're good to keep it. In the bottom left, you may need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Moving on from there, let's go ahead and talk about Fabric. So Fabric is the mod loader that we're going to be using to run World Edit. You can find Fabric at the third link down below, and that's going to take you here. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the download installer for the universal slash dot jar. Again, just like World Edit, it's going to download in the bottom left, and we will need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Keep it on Google Chrome, save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have World Edit, and we have the Fabric installer. Now, these may have different logos, right? If these logos logos right here are not the same. That's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. However, first off, let's see if you can open up the Fabric installer. To do that, go ahead and right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer right like so. Now, if that doesn't work for you, for example, you don't have the Fabric or the uh, World Java right here at all. When you right click on Fabric and click on Open With, if you don't have Java here at all, or if you do and it didn't work, then what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go to the description down below and go here. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Forge is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java. Even if you have it already, you think you have Java, you probably don't have the right version of Java. Come here, get this version of Java, and it should work. Now, if you do want to make your icons look like mine, a lot of times it's not required, but if you do want to make the icons look correct, you can run the jar fix. You can find that linked in the description down below. It's going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them once to Java. If you see Java not working, right? If you install Java and it doesn't work, then you need to run the jar fix and that should fix it after you install Java. Now, finally, though, we can right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. That's then going to open up here the Fabric installer. Once you're in the Fabric installer, just go ahead and select 1.17.1 and then click Install. After a few seconds, it's going to go ahead and come up and say Fabric Installer has been successfully installed. However, if it doesn't say that, you need to go play Minecraft 1.17.1. Basically, just open up the Minecraft launcher here, right? Just open up the Minecraft launcher and then select in the bottom left right down here that we want to see a latest release 1.17.1. Click play. Once that opens up to the Minecraft main menu, close out of it, then you'll be able to install Fabric. Now, however, we can go ahead and click OK. That's going to close out of that and we can go ahead and close out of the Fabric Installer. Let's go ahead and get World Edit installed. To do that, we need to go ahead and click the little Windows icon top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, clicking that little Windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen, and then type in Run, R-U-N. Once you've got Run up, you want to open up this Run app by clicking on it right like so, and then in this Run app, you want to type percent sign, app data, percent sign, percent, app data, percent, exactly like that, and then hit Enter. This is going to open up your roaming folder, and then in your roaming folder, you want to go ahead and open up your .minecraft folder. In your .minecraft folder here, you want to go ahead and right-click in this little area in between this like you know line here and the folder icons. Go ahead and right-click, create a new folder, call that folder 
mods, M-O-D-S, exactly like that. Mods, M-O-D-S, exactly like that. Do not change it, and then go ahead and open up your mods folder. Then to install World Edit, just take and drag and drop it into your mods folder, right like so. It's that simple and that easy. Now we wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we've opened up the Minecraft launcher, we wanna go ahead and make sure we select the fabric loader. To do that, as you can see in the bottom left, it's automatically selected. You may have to click on this little arrow here and then select fabric loader 1.17.1. Once you've got that, click on it, click play, click this little arrow saying that you understand you're playing mod in Minecraft, and then click the green play button. However, for some of you, you may not have the fabric loader here automatically selected, or it might not be here autom like at all. And if that's the case, what you want to do is click on the installations tab up here at the top, and then you want to go ahead and make sure that modded is checked over here. See, there's this little mod button. Go ahead and make sure that it's checked green, and then we do have the fabric loader. If that's the case, click play, continue on. However, if you still don't have the fabric loader or if you don't have fabric loader dash 1.17.1, you wanna go ahead and click on the installation tab right here, this new installation button. Then once you've got that, you wanna go ahead and type in play.breakdowncraft.com is the name. Why do you wanna name it that? Because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 Greek protected survival server. It's got Greek protected survival, custom skyblock. You will absolutely love it. So come play with this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Once you've got this name in here though, you wanna go ahead and click on the version dropdown box and find release fabric loader 1.17. I hate, 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 hate how Fabric does this. They put the version number at the end of the Fabric version. It's, it's a little thing, but it's huge. So make sure that you define Fabric Loader and then 1.17.1 at the end right there. Go ahead and click on that. Then I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing it so we can see later in the game. Most importantly, though, make sure Fabric Loader 1.17.1 is selected. Then click green or the green create button in the bottom right. Now we do have the play.breakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, it does say 1.17.1 under it. Click on the green play button. Click on the I understand the risk button right there and then click the green play button. Now Minecraft 1.17 1.17.1 is going to open up with world edit installed super easy super simple and a great way to get world edit and start building awesome stuff in 1.17.1 using world edit and fabric i'm gonna go ahead do a quick jump cut and i will see you once we are on the minecraft main menu Sorry about that. Sorry about the little like uh, lagging or anything like that that might have happened during that jump cut or the beginning of it. Uh, unfortunately, my computer is uh, soon to be upgraded, but not upgraded just yet. And because of that, there is lag when I'm opening up Minecraft servers, different things like that. We try to edit around it, but sometimes it just gets all choppy and robotic. But anyway, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Let's go ahead and check out World Edit. Let's click on single player. Create a new world. You don't have to create a new world, by the way. You can actually use World Edit in normal worlds without much of any care. Um, however, you do need to make sure because sometimes World Edit can like break and it will crash worlds and things like that. So be careful. But overall, you are relatively safe to use World Edit in existing worlds. Just don't do anything super huge at first. Work your way up over time and make frequent backups as always. But anyway, I'm going to go and do a quick jump cut until we are in here. And I will just show you kind of a proof of use of World Edit and then we'll be good to go. All right, so here we are. So one of the things that I do want to mention, you need commands enabled. For example, if you don't have commands enabled, which I don't think I do. Oh, I did enable commands. If you didn't have enable, uh, like commands enabled in this world, it would not work. World Edit won't work if you do slash one, for example. It won't work. What will, though, is if you go ahead and hit escape, click on open to land, and then click on allow cheats, right? Make sure allow cheats is turned on, and then start the world. When you do that, suddenly you'll access slash wand, you'll access, you'll access all of the commands with world edit. So let's go ahead and, as I always like to do, go ahead and replace all of this grass just right through here because we can with ourselves some, uh, some diamonds. So we're going to do slash slash replace, and then we're going to do diamond blocks to grass bam oops sorry grass what is it is it grass oh no it's glass there we go grass block bam and when we do what 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 what, what, are, you, what are you doing what are you doing so maybe sorry we're replacing grass block. I need to replace, that was a fail this is not a how to use world edit tutorial right there are better ones out there the reason that one i've never made like a big world edit tutorial is because of that but anyway there you go we now have all of that replaced i just had the uh, little blocks messed up one of the things that is cool is uh, i always like to show this because it's, it's just so cool to me let's go ahead and just grab a diamond shell for example there are brushes that you can create so you can do slash slash brush and then you can do whatever you want for example we could do a cylinder and then we'll go ahead and make it gold blocks because why not? So now we want to go ahead and uh, as you can see, we can create like this whole entire basically pathway across this area. Kind of wrap it over here, touch back there. And you can kind of do all of this really cool stuff all quickly. I mean, as you can see, we've created the yellow brick road here all the way back around over this way much quicker 
than, for example, walking over the ground would be. So you could touch there, but then we also want to come out this way. So you could do so much cool like bridges and things like that very, very quickly using this brush. It's one of my favorite brushes and uh, it allows you to access land a lot easier uh, and do a lot of cool stuff using this brush. World Edit is an amazing mod, and overall it is one of the best mods out there. There's tons of different brushes, so feel free to play around with the ones that are here and uh, see what you like and see what you can use and see what you can use to basically build your world. But uh, yeah, very, very easily, within seconds, we have gotten this entire bridge made, and look at it snaking around here and how cool that is. You can even, you know, for example, do different bridges. Like, we want to do a bridge like cut it off of this bridge and then go over this way, we can easily do that, right? There's so much cool stuff and one of the best brushes, or, uh, brushes that I like uh, and it's for making just bridges like this over the water. I think they're really, really cool. You can go in and add in more detail if you wanted to do these, uh, or wanted to do these, but you don't have to and really, really cool way to kind of get that over there. So awesome stuff. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. You know how to get world at it in Minecraft single player. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.